changing the sealed bearings in your front hub. It's actually a short, punchy job and shouldn't take very long to do. Let's go through it. Bike specific pulleys and presses, well, they're absolutely lovely to use, but in solidarity with our home mechanics, I'm not going to be using them today. First things first, let's get these bearings out. We begin by removing our end caps. The way to do this often varies from model to model. Using just a hammer, punch, and something to press the wheel against, an old tubeless roll is ideal, we get the axle out. As we gently tap the axle through the hub, sometimes a bearing will come out as you drive the axle out, but not always. Either way, it's not a problem. Most hubs are unidirectional, but if in doubt, look it up in your manual. It's important not to use a big, heavy metal hammer as you can overlize the axle, so be careful now. Use something with a plastic end at the very least and be patient, easy does it. Once that's out of the first bearing, look into your hub and inspect it. What you don't want to do is punch the center of your second bearing straight out. If it's an angular bearing, it will often have little indentations in the hub for special toolage. When using our punch on this second bearing, try and get the punch as close to the outer race as possible and then tap it out. Tap is the important word. You want to send it out as square as possible so you're not in danger of warping the bearing interface. Using an old piece of rag, I'm just gonna clean up and inspect that bearing interface. Don't go throwing these old bearings straight into the bin. Now, when we're installing these new ones, obviously a press is always going to be best because it will distribute the force evenly and press them in slowly. However, in substitute of a proper press, we can use the old bearings to push the new ones in and we can apply the force to this bearing. If you directly apply force to the new bearing, it will be knackered, so please don't. Now, this is where some hubs kind of diverge a little bit. With a system such as this FSA one, you can actually seat the bearing onto the axle, you put the other bearing into the hub, and you just push this through, and it's all done. Now, they're all gonna be very similar in terms of what the hub demands, but just in a slightly different order, but you can work it out, just use some common sense. As I mentioned earlier, you can make installation far easier by using the old bearing to float it in. So with one bearing pressed into the hub and another fitted to the axle and with all the relevant interfaces greased, i.e. just on the axle there and on the inside for this bearing interface, you just gently push it through. You wanna make sure you're not gonna cause any reason for that bearing to drive out. And then you just tap in very gently with a soft hammer this is where checking the alignment and making sure it's lubricated comes in. What you don't want to happen is because it's misaligned, it to drive out this bearing whatsoever. So visually inspect it to make sure that it is still seated. The penultimate step is reinstalling your end caps. Now, the final, but arguably most important step is to admire your handiwork and spin those bearings. So I hope that's been informative for you. Now, if you like GMBN Tech and the Global Mountain Bike Network, be sure to follow us on your network of choice, be it Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. We are all sorts of places. Thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time.